I sit here clothed in dark robe wearing the layman of the Olympic spirits. For those who do not know, this comes from the Arbitel. Yet this particular discussion is in no way related to the Arbitel itself. In fact, I am here to say something rather odd, maybe unexpected. It is simply that I believe in you. I do not know exactly where you're at, whether you are in a good upward swing, or if you were in a downward pendulum, so to say, experiencing the hardships of life. I see every day greater and greater, I should say, discontinuity, struggle, issues, pains, while sitting comfortably back and noticing all these things from a distance. It's not that I feel that I have some special right to tell you how you should feel. In no way is that what I'm trying to suggest. Nor am I trying to say that you should go out of your way to force yourself into a sense of positivity. But simply that whatever those goals are that you aspire to, and the goals that you don't aspire to that will one day make you into a better version of yourself, I believe you will achieve them. And you will make it. And it will be a comfortable time. And the path to get there is not always so simple. We are often met with hardship and strife and struggle as we make our way into greater heights. And greater heights might not look exactly the way that we anticipate them to. As I move on through the particular stages of my current learning, I have come to a variety of conclusions, most of which are not as self-fulfilled they are not as self-centric or self-centered. And what I mean by that is that I have started looking outwardly. I've been looking at you, watching you, paying attention to the things that people say, looking at what it is that people tell me about my own work. And I look at those people who are creators and producers and thinkers and doers, and those people who are non-doers. And equivalently, I see all of them as rather beautiful. I see their potential, I see what they want, their desires, and how we all have an inherent desire that might stem far further than from what it is that we actually engage in. That's a very roundabout way for me to say that no matter what our aspirations, there's a great deal of interest in simple happiness. And happiness is a convoluted thing an overly convoluted thing, but I really genuinely believe that you will make it. There will come a time where you have nothing more to consider. It won't be about mental balance to subject oneself to a sense of peace, but rather a genuine, overt happiness. And the way that you get there is not up to me or anyone else, nor can you say what will actually make you happy. But... I still ultimately believe that it will arrive, and its arrival is an unpredictable one. And whenever you do get there, especially for those who have seen this brief talk, I'll be thinking about you, and I'll be glad to see you made it.